Let's build a little trading system out of Knoxville Divergence and a special indicator that's near and dear to my heart. We talked about pivot points and daily and monthly and weekly pivot points before, but now I want to talk about intraday pivot points, which are available right inside your indicator package. What you'll do is you'll just right click, insert indicator, get your intraday pivot points on your screen, and then you can double click on the pivot points or click on the gear icon and bring up your settings. The maximum that you can look back is 30 periods of time. And what these intraday pivots are, are either one hour pivots based on one hour price action, four hour pivots based on four hours of price action, or eight hours of price action or 480 minutes. Under style, once again, you can choose the width of the line and all that other business. But let's just take a look at an example right here if we can. Um, I'll bring up the drawing tools, and here we go. Right here we have bearish Knoxville divergence. Now let's say we find bearish Knoxville divergence on the US dollar, Canadian dollar, five minute chart. What might be some great profit targets? Well, at the time that that Knoxville divergence was printed, we have a missed one hour pivot right there. That's a perfect target for a short term scalp. We also have a brand new four hour pivot in green right here. That's beautiful. That's a great price target. Or we have an eight hour pivot right down here below. Now our favorite kinds of intraday pivots are the kinds of pivots that don't get hit by price. So this right here is an eight hour pivot because it's red and this was not hit by price. There's no candles touching this from the beginning of the eight hour period to the end. This makes this level an excellent price target. And what you might do is wait up here above for Knoxville divergences to form or reversal arrows to form. And you might then initiate short positions and use this missed eight hour pivot as a target.